What do you mean by what do I feel my partner's love for his or herself would motivate them to do for his or herself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the supplementary question number three. three. Yeah. And this is all about my feelings still. So I'm now reflecting upon my feelings because mm -hmm. my feelings might not always be correct. Yes. And I need to know what they are though. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm reflecting upon my feelings on one subject. And that subject is, if my partner loved herself, what would she do for herself? Yeah. Uh, but it's not what she feels about that. No, it's what I feel about that. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. And of course, this is very similar to the very first question we asked ourselves. Yeah. And we probably have very similar answers to what the very first question that we asked ourselves. But although... Oftentimes we're not ethical. No. So oftentimes we expect our partner to do for themselves things that we wouldn't do for ourselves and, and vice versa. Yeah. So, so this is the purpose of this, of this question. It's to draw our attention to our ethical position mm -hmm. with regard to what love of self means. Quite often what we believe love of ourselves means for ourselves mm -hmm. is very different to what we believe a love of another person for themselves should be. Yes. And what this question does is addresses that lack of ethics or the ethical stance that we might have. Yeah, or exposes our ethics in, yeah. in either direction. In either direction. Yeah. So, so what we need to do here, basically, what we're doing is we're asking ourselves about our feelings. So it's our personal feelings still, mm -hmm. but it's about our feelings about what we believe our partner would do for herself if she loved herself. Mm -hmm. And we have the ability then to compare, compare that, that with what we believe we should do for ourselves if we loved ourselves. Yeah. Right? And to make sure, in fact, that they are both ethically the same, that they're both sound, it's equal, sound. Yes. Now, if my partner loved herself, she would never sacrifice or betray herself, betray her emotions, her uh, physical welfare, her spiritual welfare, or mm -hmm. her sexual welfare. Mm -hmm. That's what she would do if she loved herself. Yeah. Now, of course, my definition of that mm -hmm. might be very different to what she believes that to be. Right? So that's what I'm asking. Uh, I'm asking myself here, is my definition different? Right. Right. Is my definition of what I would do for myself different to what I expect her to do for herself? So by that you mean um, if I'm not willing to betray myself but I want her to betray herself, oh, hang on. I'm very unethical. Yes, there's, I've exposed something there. I've exposed something there. Yeah. And I must have some kind of emotional reason that I have that unethical stance yeah. that I would need to address and investigate. Mm -hmm. Conversely, she may, I, I believe she, she may, do, may need to do certain things for herself that she's not doing, oh. right? And I would need to look at that. Like if I believe, for example, that if you, if you actually loved yourself, you would clean up after yourself, and I believed that, mm -hmm. but you weren't cleaning up after yourself, mm -hmm. then you could see that I, this would all ex expose that as well. It would go, okay, like I think she should clean up after herself because that's what she would do if she loved herself, yeah. but she's not. Yeah. So why is that happening? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we would ask ourselves, how do I feel about that? Yeah. happening you know for a lot of us we feel it's unfair unjust we feel that it's not nice we feel it's unloving to ourselves and there's a lot of other feelings we have about that that we need to see and process our way through if mm. we're going to have a good relationship with our partner mm. and there's a lot of things we may have to raise with her as a result of noticing these particular problems yeah. that we can observe that we believe if you like she loved herself she would do but she's not doing if, if she loved herself, we believe she would do them, but she's not doing them for herself. Yeah. And so we would raise these particular issues as a result of that. We would also look at this area of self-responsibility mm -hmm. with regard to our partner. So, so now this particular question now, this question is, what do I feel about my partner's love for the, herself and what that would do for herself. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that it would do for herself is that it would take full personal responsibility for her emotions, physical welfare, spiritual welfare, and her um, sexual welfare. Mm -hmm. 
And if I noticed my partner wasn't doing one of those things for herself, taking responsibility in one of those areas for herself, then obviously I feel that she's got some kind of issue. I need to look at my feelings about that. Yeah. How do I feel about her not doing that? Mm -hmm. Have I spoken to her about that not occurring? Have I discussed these matters with her? Have I talked to her about why it's happening? These are all issues I need to resolve. I need to question. Within this as well, um, this can also expose to us, can't it, where we have, say we're in a, an opposite gender relationship, mm -hmm. where we have some sort of unethical viewpoints about what it is to love yourself as a woman and what roles. it is to love yourself as a man. Yes, roles. Roles, yes. Yeah. So, um, for example, if I'm a, well, I am a woman and if I'm in a relationship and I think, well, my partner's love for himself would dictate that he should have time with his mates and he should be able to go fishing because, you know, probably that's what my dad did and, you know. But I'm the mother and I don't really necessarily need time for myself or, or what if, if I notice this kind of lack of ethics occurring mm -hmm. this is another area where this is going to be exposed isn't it exactly where I where if I examine the first question what would love of myself do well my life is actually about being busy all of the time and yeah. not caring for my I don't know relaxation yeah but if I think about what would my partner's love of himself motivate him to do, well, he should really be able to take care of his relaxation, then immediately I can say, oh, hang on. Why aren't I doing it for myself? Yes. Mm. So it's where the four questions kind of marry, isn't it? Exactly. And start to expose different things. Exactly. And they're not always in the direction perhaps that we think. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you notice even with this third supplementary question, I'm still not really focused on myself yet. Yes. Like in the sense of... Uh, sorry, I'm still not focused on my partner yet, Yes, I should say. Yeah. So I'll say that again. Yeah. <laughs> you notice in this third supplementary question that I'm still not focused on my partner yet. I'm focusing on how I feel yeah. about how my partner feels about herself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I'm still looking at my own feelings. Yeah. I'm still examining myself. Yeah. I'm not examining her. I'm looking at myself primarily and asking myself how I feel about what she's doing with regard to her love of self. Yeah. Yep. Because yeah. that, that's a big issue for many people and we'll come up with examples of that. But certainly I know that in our relationship, oftentimes you've had more regard for my love of self than I have. Oftentimes much more regard. Yes. Like, so oftentimes you would go and do something that I feel if you had any love of yourself you would never do. Yeah. And, and then I point that out to you, you know, yes. and things like that. So. But I don't get angry with you about it. I say, look, babe, you know, don't you see what's going on here? This is about love of self. Do you want to sort this issue out as to why you do this? What's going on for you that causes you to desire to do something that doesn't love you? And even if that sort of causes a negative, it, it triggers an emotional response that's not very pleasant, it's maybe painful for you in yeah. me ceasing doing whatever it was or whatever, yeah. you're still willing to do that. Yes. And that's what you would do in asking this question, wouldn't you? You'd yes. be willing to look at this question, yeah. even if it's going to create some kind of uh, sadness within yourself, you still want to know, what would my partner's love of themselves motivate them, them to, to be do doing? For themselves. Yeah. yeah. We'll come up, when we do the examples, we'll come yes. up with some personal examples that we've had perhaps in our life yeah. on this issue, to, just to help people understand what, what's really going on with this question. But, it, but I feel that if we look at the primary part of the question, basically what it's doing is it's focusing on the same thing that qu the question focused at when we asked ourselves about our love of ourselves. But it's asking from the point of view of my own feelings about mm -hmm. what I feel my partner would do if they really loved themselves. Yeah. And how do I feel about my partner when I notice them not loving themselves. Yeah. What, what do I do about that? If anything, sometimes we love it. Some people love it. They love it when their partner doesn't love themselves because that means they get more. That's not, that's not loving. Yeah. That, that, that's an addictive thing that we're getting satisfied. And of course, sooner or later, if, the whole re if we're supporting our partner not loving themselves, then in the end, the relationship would degrade. Yeah. It's got to degrade because remember, all of God's laws yes. are totally focused on exposing all of our unloving issues. So if we're wanting our partner to not love herself and we get something from that personally, 
in an addiction, an addiction met from that, then we are neither loving our partner, nor are we loving ourselves, yeah. nor are we uh, supporting our partner's love of themselves. Yeah. So you can see that in many relationships this kind of thing happens, where, where partners do want the other party to do things for them that they are either unwilling to do for themselves or would never do for their partner. And I find that to be very sad, in fact. Mm. And, it, and it is an indication of how poor the relationship is when that occurs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great.